how's to you guys are uh, doing good uh, this is December 26th here uh, happy Christmas and happy new year in advance uh, 2024 okay depending on when you are watching this video but currently when I'm recording that's just it okay so today we want to look at uh, how to build your own amplifier yes you know uh, a couple of weeks ago I did some series of video uh, where I showed you guys this my particular amplifier that was having issue uh, which the pre-board is having issue so most time it keeps affecting my transistor so I decided to build it from scratch and also to upgrade it to my own personal taste okay so uh, here what you see here is almost close to 3000, uh, 3000 watts so to say it can conveniently drive each side can drive two giant speaker conveniently and if it is sort subwoofer a double sub it can handle that perfectly okay so let's look at it don't worry I will still I will still take everything out to we'll do the connection and everything but uh, if you look at this now this one I'm through with this one this one is working perfect but because of you guys I will definitely still show you guys but before we dive in uh too deep and so as not to give you guys headache and the because if you look at it you see there is a lot of connection uh, right from my transistor to the power everything connected it can give you headache but i've decided to break it down to keep it very very simple okay very very simple that is why you will please like this video subscribe this to this channel so that you will not mix exciting video like this all right so let's dive in <clears throat> Uh, so to just keep it very very simple for you guys, I drive uh, out a very simple circuit, not like the one you do see online that will give you a dick, no. Something very very simple, mind you, it will be very very simple, I will explain it well. So all what you are seeing there is what I want to explain right there for you guys to understand. So just follow me as we continue. Now look at the way it works. The way it works is very very simple. It's very simple. Okay, if you have an existing amplifier, fine. Like this one, uh, you know I have uh, uh, the main power pack there before. Luckily, this one is still active, not bad. But assuming you have, uh, you don't have, you want to start from scratch. Uh, I have something on that. Let me start with the power pack for you guys. Let me start with that. Let's zoom out so you can see what I'm doing here better okay now this is for your power pack uh, let me reduce this uh, I intentionally try to keep it as simple as much as possible now <coughs> if you look at what I have here now hmm? now I will illustrate a capacitor here this is a capacitor this is a capacitor you understand so in some amplifier you may see it there are some you will see four. There are some you will see two. Okay. So what you just need to understand is uh, uh, what amplifiers do is just to help you make the call the voltage and the current more stable and more soothing. You understand now? Uh, because well, let, let, let me show you where so that you see what I'm saying. Now the main light is coming from your AC plug. It will come into your uh, switch. Then from your switch to this transformer. Then from the transformer, there is a diode there. We call it four leg diode. It will enter there. So the diode is what I'm illustrating here. Uh, just bear with me with this camera. So this is the diode now. So if this is my diode, in the diode, if you check the orientation, there will be a side for AC. When you see that sign like this, is AC. You understand? So the AC, what is coming from your transformer? This is my transformer here. You know, a transformer half secondary side, it has the primary side. I believe you should know that. If you don't know that, go to my playlist and start watching video that will really help you. Okay, so the, your primary side will be connected to your AC, which is coming from your direct source of light. Then it will supply the secondary side, like sample of what I have here now is my secondary side. Uh, this one is 12 volt, 15 volt. But the main one powering this one, uh, because this transformer I have here is 50050, that is uh, 50 center tap. You understand now? So that is 50 this side, 50050. You understand why this one is some additional voltage for my uh, relays and the rest? Okay, but leave that. We are still on the power segment. Just ensure you like this video, please. Subscribe to this channel because I don't want to give you a dick in one video. If I should put this together in a day or at once, you have a dick. So, we are dealing with a power pack right in this video, okay? So, to build it, in case you don't have something like this, that is why you must understand what I'm trying. So, what is coming from your transformer? 
will enter this diode. Remember, this is four leg diode. So this is my AC. One of the AC, that is the secondary side from the transformer will enter this one. The second, you don't forget the polarity now. And the ground is not part of this, just the uh, one coming from the transformer will enter here, the other one will enter here. So once it passes through this diode, you have your positive and you have your negative. So from here, it will send to your capacitor. Do you understand the way it's working? I'm very, very simple. Transformer, from your transformer, it will go to the AC input of the diode. Once you have it, it will rectify it instantly to DC format where you have it plus a minus, not AC again, okay? So once you have that, now, depending on the number of transistor you want to use, so in this case now I have four. There are sometimes I use it, but most time it's not a must to use too many transistors. What really matters is the voltage of the transistor and the capacitance, that is the ability of it to stock current and the voltage, you understand? So based on the wattage you are looking up to, because mind you, it's not only, but it's not just the transistor that has, that supplies the per watt, no. Your transformer matters a lot, and also ability of your transistor to hold the voltage. You understand? If not, you'll be having some distortion and loss in base and so many other stuff like that. So, AC, AC, you have that plus. So once it's out, then you come to this stage. This is my power pack now. Look at it. Let's just see. What I have here is four capacitor here, four here. But if you look at this now, I loop them in parallel. Look at it. This is my plus orientation, minus, plus, minus, the same way. Plus, minus, plus, minus, the same way like that. So what I simply do is we loop it together. You understand and look at this. The negative of this one, negative of this one comes together. Negative of this one comes together. Positive of this one comes together. You understand because they are in parallel. So based on the capacity, that kind of amplifier is something that we want. We are trying to build a 4,000 watt. So we need more uh, voltage stability. But in this case, I'm using just four. And the four is okay for me. There are some cases you may use just two. Yes, it will still do the function based on mm, the wattage you are looking after. Okay, is that clear now? So let's assume I'm using the four now. So what is here, just cancel it out. So that means from plus, your minus will move to this place. This one will move to this one and the rest. You understand? Just very, very simple as ABC. Okay. If you still need more help on that, uh, I'm sure you drop the question in the comment section. I will definitely reply to that. Like this video and watch out for the next part where we we'll look into this, how I built this. Let me show you. You can see it. R4 transistors here, yeah. R4 PMP, 4 MPN, you can see my choke, then from there to my pre-board, and mind you, <laughs> this amp really sand, the way it sounds, you get, yeah, it's very, very heavy in terms of output, it's very nice and very great, and you can see it, I've done a lot of connection on it, so in that video, I will still break it down, so watch out for this video too, so all what I did here, yeah, uh, we'll still explain it using this IQ diagram, before we now start the rebuilding itself. So by the time you watch the video and you jot, uh, you draw it, you will be able to follow the sketching and the rest. Exactly. Thank you so much. See you guys in my next video. Cheers.